What's up guys, Buck Hills here, welcome to my best class video for the KN44 Assault Rifle. As you guys know, I've done the KRM262 pump action shotgun last time, and like always, it's basically my opinion on what I go to when I play the game, and I just want to share it with you guys so it's my best class setup for me, but let me know how you do with this class setup for today's video. So, we've got the KN44, and I've got the Optics BOA3. I recommend any Optics site for this weapon because when getting shot at, your gun does do a little bit of flinching and your aim does go off a little bit target with the red dot you can control it just that much easier rather than having the iron sight personally but the iron sight is just as good if you don't like using the sights and you want to use your point for your pick 10 for something else then I've gone with the quick draw so you know you can aim faster than sight that always helps out in Call of Duty games and then suppressor so no one knows where I'm coming from and I can be a little bit more stealth and plus it keeps the gun under control with the recoil therefore you don't need to have grip attached and with this I've gone with high caliber Headshots do increase damage and for me I put this on for the simple reason being when I'm getting shot and I flinch the gun does ride up a little bit and I tend to get a ton of headshots so I tend to lay people out even that little bit quicker so I recommend trying that as an attachment and see how you do and then I've gone with the lethal Semtex I only put this on because I had one spare slot free in my pick 10 and I thought I'd pick the Semtex because it's a good one to use to throw it around and just get a random kill or to try and flush somebody out or injure them so you can get easy kills and then perks, basic again, ghosts, fast hands and blast suppressor. Basically, I can jump around the map without being seen. The, min the ghost helps me not get seen on the minimap if someone's got UAV. And then the fast hands swaps weapons faster and aims faster after sprinting. I mainly use it for aiming faster after sprinting than actually swapping weapons because I don't carry a secondary. That is what I use. In the wild cards, I put on primary gunfighter because you have to have that for your third attachment, which for my case is higher caliber. And I've gone with a specialist nomad with hive. The reason I picked that in this gameplay as you're seeing is because I can aim the hives around the map at different locations and people can walk into them and get to my score streaks that little bit quicker but I recommend using any specialist you're comfortable with. It doesn't really matter with this class setup, you can use whatever you feel is best but this one in this video I've gone with hive and it works out really well for me luckily. And in the score streaks on today's video I've gone with the UAV, lightning strike and wraith. And in this gameplay, you're going to see I get to the Wraith and I manage to wreak havoc with it. As you can see in the view right now, is the Hive. I'm just planting them around the map in different locations, hoping that someone just walks into them. I'm trying to think where people walk and if it will catch anyone off guard. As you can see, they'll stick the guy in the distance and I managed to get the kill with it. And there goes another one. Now I've got the Lightning Strike. Call that in where you think people are coming. But again, for the score streaks, I recommend just using what you're most comfortable with reaching. So guys, I'm going to let the gameplay play and then you guys can see how I play with this class setup. And as you can see, it's, it's not a bad class. It gets me kills. You've got to be a little bit patient here and there. The gun's not the best from range, unfortunately. Even though it's an assault rifle, I reckon it's better up at mid-range rather than full length. Mid-range to short range is better because the, the fire rate is really good on this weapon. So just take your time and you do well. As long as your accuracy is on point, you are taken down. But... I get a few kills in Zors. I try and wait and be patient, hoping they walk into the hive. People don't tend to come around because on this map they sort of stick to the edges, so indoors or the other side. So I try and push around, see what kills I can get. But yeah, you basically, again, like always in any Call of Duty game, you just want to play with your brain. Watch the minimap constantly and see where you come from. Unless you play hardcore, then you've got to be really patient. As you can see there, the guy shot me. I got the flinch. My headshot came into play with the high caliber. I dropped him even quicker. And then he is down. Let's just push around. Take your time. There you go. There's the hive. Gets me my wraith. I call in the wraith middle of the map. And I unfortunately get sniped in the back. But the wraith comes in and literally destroys. I'm on 14 kills there. And now the wraith is going to boost that up into the 20s, I think. I think I get nearly 20 kills into the 20s with it. There's one. There's two. There's three. So there you go. The wraith is doing work for me, which is luckily good. Guy's snipe, trying to snipe it down at the back. I push around. Take him down. He's gone. Getting multiple kills. Look, I'm filling up the feed with my name. Doing really well. They're all indoors. I'm trying to run around to push them out if I can. But yeah, it's a good setup. I recommend try it. Let me know how you do. Look at this. The race to take them down. I get a few kills. I get the hive again. Look at that. That feed. And then I just take my time. You know, you got to think where people are going to walk around the map. Wraith is going to town on them. I'm doing really well. The Wraith, I think, has been shot down now. So it's back to me trying to get back to the UAV. Teammates are getting their streaks. It's helping me. I'm on 29 kills. I think that's the 29 when it popped up. 
and I'm just like you guys, I'm watching the video back, just enjoying it. And yeah, you just got to do what you got to do, basically. It's a good class setup, so I recommend trying it out. And we're near the end of the game. Four, five more kills and the game is over. And I think I managed to get UAV again, if I'm correct. There we go. Oh, I get the lightning strike, so not UAV. There we go. You call that in where I think they might be coming. I think one's coming around for me. I see him in the distance. He's getting killed. I'm just waiting. And there you go. I managed to get the last kill with the Hive. 75 to 35 in game. Had a really good game of it. And it's a really good class up to you. So I recommend checking out like I've been saying. And here's the final kill. Because again, randomly placed one of those Hives around the map. And he's been attacked. And he's got no chance of surviving and killing him. So you have a look at what I've done overall. I managed to go 32 and 3, a 10 ratio in KD with one assist. It's a really good class, guys. I recommend checking it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one.